Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Fedora Linux 41 on VMA workstation in Windows environment. Go to Fedora official website that is Fedora project dot org. See here the latest release at the time of making this video is Fedora Linux 41. Click on it. See here we have the Fedora workstation, Fedora server, Fedora IoT. Okay, I will make another video for Fedora server installation. See, for Fedora workstation, you have to click on download now. See here, we have the different options, Media Writer and ISOs. So, select the for Intel or AMD 64, x86, 64 systems, ISO file. Okay, click on this download button. Click on download, go to downloads. See, download has been started and its size is 2.3 gigabytes. I have already downloaded Fedora Workstation 41. See here. So I am cancelling this one. In your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then open VMA Workstation. See, I have VMA Workstation front, VMA Workstation player. If you want to install VMA Workstation on your machine, then go to the link provided in the video description and install it. So the installation process on VMA Workstation front or VMA Workstation player is same okay open any one of them see these are the list of the virtual machines on vma workstation to create new virtual machine click on go to home and click on create a new virtual machine or file and new virtual machine both are same okay click on create a new virtual machine next here we have to select the downloaded is file click on browse then select the downloaded ISO file, click on open, then click on next, here provide the name, I am giving fed 41 name can be anything, next we have to set the location for this virtual machine, click on browse and choose the path where you have the enough space. Click on OK, then click on Next. Now provide the RDX size. I am giving 100 gigabytes. It's based on availability. Then click on Next. See, by default, it has selected memory as 2 gigabytes. So if you want to customize these properties, so click on Customize Hardware. Then I am going to increase 4 gigabytes. If you want to enable virtualization, you have to select these checkboxes. Number of processes I am giving to, then click on Close and see the option here power on this virtual machine after creation so if you select it and if you click on it automatically starts and check it and click on finish now still if you want edit settings of this virtual machine right click on edit virtual machine settings and select here then click on vm and set the settings okay or right click on it select the settings all three options are same if you are okay with all the settings then click on power on this virtual machine or right click select power then power on okay so click on power on this virtual machine see here we have the three options start fedora workstation live 41 test this media and start fedora workstation live and troubleshooting so select the first one first select the first one and hit enter See, if you want to test, you have to click on not now. So, click on install Fedora. Select the language and click on continue. Click on installation destination. Then, I am okay with the default one. So, click on done. If you want to set the time and date, click on it. Set the time. See, by default, it has selected region as Asia and city as Kolkata. If you want to change, click on drop down and you can select from this list. Here also same, okay. I am ok with the default ones, so click on, then click on, if you are ok with these settings, then click on begin installation. See installation has been started, I am pausing this video and will resume whenever manual inputs are required.
See, Fedora is now successfully installed and ready to use. Go ahead and restart your system to start using it. So click on finish installation. See, it automatically not booted. So click on this power button, then click on power, then click on restart. Then select the restart. Now click on start setup. If you want to enable local services or automatic problematic report, you have to keep these buttons right side. Uh, I'm going to keep as it is and click on next. I don't want to enable third party repositories, so click on next. Now we have to create user. So I'm giving user full name as Artoscus and username also same. So click on next. Provide the password for this Artoscus user. So click on next, all done. So click on start using Fedora Linux. Skip, then click on here to enter full screen mode. Click on it. See, this is the Fedora Linux 41 desktop. Click on application menu, then show applications. See here, these are the default install applications or tools comes with Fedora Linux 41. Open terminal or drag terminal, select it and drag it to the menu. Click on terminal. Three point is too small, so let us increase preferences. Click on point. Click on drop down. See size is 10 pixels. So increase it by using this plus button. Now verify the Fedora version more slash etc os hyphen release. See we have installed Fedora Linux 41 and this is stable release okay and it is workstation family version q2 fit and if you want to verify the IP of this machine you IF config. See this is the IP of this machine. Now the first step after connecting to Fedora Linux is we have to update the packages sudo enf update hyphen y then ampersand ampersand sudo dnf upgrade hyphen y provide the password of the user we have created this may take time so in this video we have seen how to download and install Fedora Linux 41 on VMware Workstation. For more Fedora or Linux tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.